Good morning, and today we're going to take a look at the Spark IM client for OpenFire. At our company, we just lately started using OpenFire as our instant message server. Um, so far, we really like it, and I thought I'd just go over some of the some quick tips and tricks using Spark in a Windows environment. Uh, it runs on Windows Server, and OpenFire and Spark are very simple to set up, but just some things I learned uh, using Spark. We'll switch over to the Spark client. All right, here we have Spark, and when you first install Spark, you'll notice that it has a the 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 windows uh, or the the appearance the scheme looks kind of strange. It doesn't look Windows. The way you can change that is just go into Preferences, go down here to Appearance, and just click the uh, Use system look and feel and then restart it and it'll look right like your windows whether vista uh, whatever it is it looks real nice you can also down here you'll notice it says the con the font size you can change that to make the fonts a little more efficient um, another thing that I found in using it that uh, we were used to live messenger uh, so we added a lot of features when we went to open fire and spark one of the things that we often do is to chat to a group of people and if you open the open a conference and add people that way it can be a little clunky so what you can do is hold the control key and select a bunch of users and then right click uh, right click and then start a conference and it'll add all those people into the conference for you You can click invite and you're ready to go so that's another thing that saved us a little time um, another thing that's really nice about OpenFire and Spark is that you can uh, consolidate a bunch of your IM clients to determine what which of your IM users you want to be able to do that. You'll notice here I have Gmail and MSN. Uh, some of most of our users don't, but I happen to. And another nifty feature about Spark and OpenFire is the ability to have a website chat client. In other words, someone can come to your website, click on a link, and chat to you. And I'll just open that real quick. Pull that over here so you can see it working on other screens. So, uh, so if you have a website and you want to make it a little interactive, and I'll see if I can drag that into the window there that you can see it. Right there we go. Oh, snapped off my screen. There you can see it, the live chat. And just get that out of my way. If we go here and log into sales, now I can monitor that queue and be available to help people. Uh, let's refresh that. Have a little trouble with all my multi-monitor here. Okay, now you notice that the live chat is available. So that's another really nice free, absolutely. Open Fire and Spark are totally free. Um, and the also another thing that I really like about Spark, which I don't have going here because we don't use it in-house. But you can integrate Spark with an open, uh, with a SIP-based PBX like 3CX. I actually wrote a chapter on that in the book that I'm writing, and or uh, any other SIP standard SIP-based uh, IP PBX. So that's another nifty feature. You can do centralized management like this bookmark it, uh, bookmarker. Uh, you can push out bookmarkers to your users, and we have our intranet in there so that people can easily click on that. Um, but so far, we're very, uh, very, very uh, happy with Spark and OpenFire, OpenFire being the server. All right, I think we'll wrap it up with that. One last thing there is there, at this point, I don't know of a, uh, and maybe I'll just switch back to the cam. At this point, I don't know of a Windows Mobile client for OpenFire. I know there's a bunch, uh, I should say, and not a Spark client. There are other uh, Jabber clients that can work with Spark for Windows Mobile. Uh, I've been testing a few. I haven't got one that I'm happy with yet. But there is also, there is a Spark web client that you can use, and maybe I'll review that in another in another review. All right, some tips for with when you're using Spark. Thanks for listening today.